hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber and welcome if you are new so in today's video i'll be talking about a portable sewing machine from so mighty of amazon it has 12 built-in stitch it also have a light it have the reverse it is an automatic machine so you can either use the presser foot lever or you can use the low or high switch on the machine and just guide whatever you have underneath it if you really feel lazy and have work to do and don't want to put too much energy into using the presser foot it is auto so can't get better than that um they actually have two the one that i purchased um i didn't take the extended table with it and that one was like 48 dollars and some cents after tax was added i think it was 48.99 i'm trying to pull up my account from the other phone and then the one with the extended table is for $51.99 before tax. All right, so yeah, the original price was $44.95 before tax, and with um, tax, it's $48.10. So There's everything, everything, every, everything. Yeah. Here's this um the user manual for the machine. Table of contents, safety precautions, so on and so forth. So it it comes in this box in the middle of these two styrofoams so it's like a very tiny yet compact case all around <clears throat> i'm trying to fit it back to show y'all what it would look like exactly so this is it so the machine came in the midst of this in this box and then in an amazon box and i'm just gonna show you all the rest of stuff that it came with so user manual here um a seam rip here an inch measure the buttonhole foot so you can um switch out the regular foot for this and then it has the power cable <clears throat> sorry guys my voice is cracking it also has a press of foot it came pre-stringed with um a white thread on the top let me show you so everything was um like here it came with a white thread here and a white bobbin down here and it came with an additional white thread a black bobbin and another white bobbin it also came with this this is to feed the thread through the needle and it came with two additional needles and these are the universal half flat half rounded needles and if you're working on jps field you need to take them electricity all you need is four triple a pen light battery and you're good to go so for the price of $48.10, guys, it really worth it. For me, I don't know about anybody else, but it's really worth it. 
yes guys so as i was saying it came with a lot of stuff that um other heavy duty more expensive machines don't actually have and if i feel the need to get the extended table which i think i'm going to it's just an additional 13 dollars so that's it i think i'm going to do a little demo i already cut a piece of material that i said i'm going to make a mini drawstring thread bag so i cut this piece of material here and it's double so this is the length very small so i'm gonna go ahead and do my thing right and then i'll come back <laughs> guys i totally forget um that i switched out the thread this morning so i'm going to have to restring the machine so y'all will get to see that all right guys so here go the bobbin tray is already open so the bobbin you're supposed to hold it at an angle like you're making a p right and then you're just going to drop it down like that what i did i put some washi tape on the side to make this glide in and stick because when i'm sewing it keeps coming off it was too loose so this is it you're going to feed a little bit of it out you're going to put this back here and close it this thread goes right on here this goes on top of here to keep the thread secure and in place you're going to feed the thread underneath here around down through the tension guard under here come up the feed lever is already up so there's a little hole right there you're going to feed the thread through the hole then back down here there's another little hole let me see if i can zoom in right there's another little hole right here you're going to feed the thread through that hole as well let me carry the needle down so yeah right here and then you're going to pull this out you're going to lift this up close this down and then you're going to feed the thread through the needle eye i just put it in and put it back out so disrespectful come on good now you're going to feed this nicely over there lift this up all right so we are going to use the top thread to pull the bobbin through which i just did let me release the bobbin thread so the top thread picks up the bobbin here we are 
good we're gonna close this back now we're ready to sew okay all right guys let's hope the tension is just right i don't have any breakage or anything like that so we are ready let me shift you over here so this is what we use to knot the thread it's called the reverse or the back stitch so ready I don't have a scissors because on the side here is the third quarter so this is what my stitch look like straight across neat right straight across now we are going to do the other side I went and pressed the seams down off camera because I am not that patient of a person so we're just going to repeat the same for this side okay guys so for this side of the bag i'm repeating the steps as i've done on the previous side of the bag which is to just knot the thread sew across and knot the final end. again here we are so now we are going to even up these two sides like so right and then we are gonna start sewing from the thread line here right and we are going to sew down in a straight line and do the same for this side so let's go <laughs> and this 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 little machine it's very handy i love it love it i've been using a sewing machine since the age of nine so nothing's changed for me nothing at all has changed it's the very same way um the threading works all of that good stuff Be careful not to gaze and sew your finger while gazing. You have to be very attentive. So again, I'm done with this side. So I'm going to do the very same thing over here on this other side. And that thing is so sharp. I can't even see a blade there, but it's just ripping through like hot knife against butter. <laughs> oh Lord. So as of now, this will be my little third bag. Yay! You're kidding outside, guys. Alright. Third cut, so... The feed dog is very sharp. The tension is okay. Normally my tension would be at four, between three and five, nothing over. 
the bigger the number the freer the tension of the thread so it's already compositioned at um, a five to a seven and as you can see the five right here best point for you it have a black box around it so this is where the tension um comes stable and i didn't even bother to move it giving me so much trouble come on oh lord please go through all right everything is a trouble this morning jeez all right guys so since it wasn't behaving i definitely had to use the threader to get the thread back in so we're ready again yippee Mm -hmm. Let's get to sewing. It jumps again. What is going on? Guys, hold on. Alright, guys, so it's already up again. So let's go. You can choose to zigzag the side here to stop the thread from um, rubbing out or pulling apart on the inside. But for me, mm, maybe, maybe I'll come. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me. I'm going to give it another flat stitch down. All right, you ain't want to sew no further. You ain't got it. I got what I want. Okay, guys. So now, turn in the bag inside out. Okay. So this is my little cute bag, my little cute baggy. I have some loose thread here. Hey, baby. Let me zoom out, guys. Okay. it's not picture it's a video so this is the bag all right so i must switch back the camera Bye. and then complete everything Bye. all right guys so here is my little bag and now i'm going to measure out the ribbon to go in it and i'm gonna show you two ways that you can put the ribbon in the bag i have red and i i have green and i have red below so i think i'm gonna use the one closest to my hand this is what kaden did to my green ribbon yeah so if you want uh all right normally they'd measure like this and then fold and come back over this side a second time and then they would go back across a third time some people do it four times to get the length to go all the way around the bag so i'm just gonna do it three times because the bag is small and i'm going to do the two string method with this one so i'm gonna use the red and then 
I take the measurement twice. I don't want the end of my ribbon to ravel or ravel, so I'm going to use the lighter. Let me switch the fan. Why my big face is open on the camera like? That stops the ends from running up and down and straining all over the place. Let me do the same to the piece on the roll. And then I only have one side, which is this one here. Good. Not a perfectionist, I just like when things need. Well, let me not see that. I retract that statement. Because for those that who know me, I don't want to come crush up my shirt. I'm a dress down in the comment section. I hope this pin is not too big. And I am being real careful because the least little thing you put through these and just start going with themselves. Like I said, I hope it's not too big to go through here. And I put it in the big head first. So once the big head goes through, anything else can go through. I hope. So please don't tell me how to pull it out. I have a small opinion about where to find the head stuck. Ew. When I head big. Hold on guys, I'm gonna look a smaller um, pin and come back. Alright guys, so I'm back and I found a smaller one. So, we're going to feed, we're going to feed this in. And this is one end. I'm going to bring it through to the other side. We are out. All right, so this is the first method, and this is just the one string. So y'all normal have to just clip off right here. See it have a big one. So I'm gonna clip here and heat it with the lighter again, and then knot it. Don't give me any trouble, you know. Don't give me any trouble. Thank you. I'm on even both sides. I want the silk ends to be outwards. And the not so silky ends to be inside. So. perfect so i could use it just like this just the way it is now right see um all right let me toss the lighter on this heat resistant tape inside this would be long enough perfect all right perfect so this is the one string method for the double string method, I'm going to show you in a few. So because this one is on this side, we are going to start feeding through this end. And we are going to go around just the same. However, we aren't going to run it through completely. We are going to exit on that end. And then we are going to take the other end, push through. I'll show you as I go along. So here, we are going to exit here. 
and we are going to take the pin off so this other end we are going to attach the pin and we are going to feed it through this side Kevin and his daddy always at it thank god it's not me and him today or at least for the duration of this video okay so here we are we are going to remove and i'm legit not cutting anything i'm just going to heat it again to stop whatever stranding out going on right there so we are going to do the same thing we are going to put the two mat side together make a knot good so now we have and then you have everything even in the middle so DIY drawstring bag and you can use the silk material if you're into here if you're a here um, a here here vendor or you, you operate your hair business you can use the very same silk material bridal satin yeah and make your bags for your hair cast you know the silk keeps the hair lustrous and lustrous and shiny bouncy and healthy no nothing so that's it for today's video and thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment share subscribe and guys uh, your girl is an affiliate of ebby new york what what yes guys so um my coupon code for ebby new york is laverne capital l-a-v-e-r-n for 10 percent off your order the more you use the code the more I'm at stage three with the 10% discount coupon, right? So the more you use my code, I will move up to stage two where you know get a 20% coupon code. And then when you continuously use that code, I move up to stage one where you'll get a 30% coupon code. So from now on, instead of going on Amazon, because what I do realize when you buy the ebbing sprays on amazon they're like an additional five dollars more expensive than you would get them off the ebbing new york site so you can just go ahead straight on over to the site and use my coupon code laverne for 10 percent off your purchase and if you shop 50 times you can use the code 50 times yes guys mm -hmm. so that's it don't forget to check out z Digit z digitizing for all your embroidery and vector art images with quality images quick turnaround time very price are very cost effective rather and you just cannot beat all of that 24 hour support system they have answers you have questions they have answers so to my left which is your right right down there it's a red button says subscribe hit that button great out a bell will come up that then tap the bell select all so that when i upload a video you'll be the first to notify bye guys <laughs>